Hi, how are you? Oh boy. Yeah, you know, I didn't go out tonight because <clears throat> I drank too much previously, so I checked my breathalyzer. It says 0 0.11, alright? Five minutes ago, so I'm too drunk to drive. Yeah, I slept. Took a nap, but still. I guess I'm still too drunk to drive. Okay, so yeah, I didn't go out. Okay, so. What can I do, right? Yeah, I just stay home. Yeah, too drunk to drive, so I cannot quite go out, okay? No problem. I got enough food at home, and let me get some Diet Coke. Let me have some let me have some cranberry juice, okay? Oh, you want some cranberry juice like a boy or a child is like Yeah, whatever this guy. Oh, it's good. He wants some Diet Coke. Oh, this guy. Yeah. I didn't Diet Coke. <laughs> they give me reason to live. Okay, that's so good. Oh, Diet Coke. Oh, give me reason to live. Now. Yeah, I slept on this, okay? I, I, I kind of figured it out, okay? It's, uh, it's quite tricky, actually, all right? <coughs> yeah, but it's not that difficult, okay? Yeah, hey, you are working on gold box conjecture proof, okay? This combinatorial, this pyramid number theory is a lot easier compared to Gold box conjecture proof, man. Oh my goodness. Pyramid number theory is, again, this, yeah, it got rejected by Wikipedia because it's been never published. It's not established theory, and Wikipedia is like encyclopedia, they only chronicle established knowledge. Okay, so we get it, okay? They pointed me to the right direction, okay? Hey, go publish in a mathematical journal, okay? First. And if you are published, then come back, okay? Bye. Yes, some of them are nice, okay? But some others on Wikipedia, they are so mean. They say like, Stop vandalizing Wikipedia! Hmm? Vandalism? You accuse me of vandalism? Look, look at me. I'm not even Vandal. Yeah, the Vandal, that's like European, right? Caucasian, Northern European, back in the days. Dark Age, right? I'm not even white. Vandal, you accuse me of vandalism against Wikipedia? All I wanted was to share with the rest of the world, what I have discovered, okay? You accuse me of vandalism? Come on, give me a break. Take a hike! Take a walk! Okay. You! Whatever. And Mr. Mills Google YouTube, okay? They, uh, they said, you are too... 
offensive. Okay. <sighs> okay, whatever, right? Yeah, that's just that I made a movie. Therapy for metaphobia, right? Is that fear of poem, fear of poetry, okay? No, I just made up this word. It's fear of the city, okay? So this guy, right, he ran away from Los Angeles, California, all the way to Mojave Desert and making some spiritual encounters, okay? So that's what that movie is about. I saw me to Sundance Film Festival, South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, and Los Angeles Film Festival, San Antonio Film Festival, or New York Film Festival, San Francisco Film Festival, they all rejected that. I submitted my movie, five zero, fifty different film festivals, how many of them, of them accepted me? Uh, about five of, the, five of them, local, small, okay? Yeah, small guys helping small people, okay? Yeah, I was very grateful. Okay, let's let's get back to this. Okay, yeah, I slept on this and I did find something. It's like this. Okay, <sighs> we'll just do two. Okay, so NC two. It goes like something like that. So we have row and column, right? Yeah. Row and column. Row index. Uh, okay. Watch. I don't know, something like that, okay. Something like this, okay. We, we'll straighten out all the wrinkles later on, but... Yeah, so... Something like this, okay, so... Yeah. I and J, okay, so one, two, okay, one, three, we got it. Now, then two, three, okay, it, it goes something like this, okay, so we straighten out the wrinkles, but uh, I slept on this, okay, yeah, I, I'll talk juxta notation and J you know juxta notation is nested right and J depend on I okay so uh, it start from I plus one okay and it goes all the way to N okay but uh, that's NC2 right NCR uh, that's a little bit more complicated, okay, so. How about NC3? I'll show you. It's not that difficult, okay? It's not gold box conjecture proof. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's repeating pattern. 
Very beautiful, okay? Uh, it kind of looks like this, okay? Okay. Kinda. Alright, so. NCR. Yeah, that's. We can generalize this, right? Uh, but. <sighs> yeah, it's like M minus 0, M minus 1, M minus 2, dot, 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 M minus R. Minus one, okay. M minus parenthesis, R minus one, okay. Uh, and I J K, we run out of alphabet, right? So we have to call it I one, I two, I three. Yeah. We we'll take this challenge and we'll express this in general term, okay? But before that, this so this is pyramid theory. Pyramid number theory, okay? Uh, it's very important, right? Look, we didn't just get here by some random chance, right? You are studying, you are studying Goldbach's conjecture, and then we realized uh, somehow. We need to expand the mathematical language. Get some cues, hints from computer programming language, okay? And then we started talking about if, then else, if, else, if, else, if, switch, case. Then we start talking about disjointedness in set theory, all right? That's how we got here, okay? The pyramid number, yeah, it's abstract purely mathematical but it has some application okay so what we do here it has some purpose okay so <sighs> yeah okay Well, how about NC1? Yeah, it's one comma two comma dot 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 comma n, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, because it kind of it kind of bothers me that we have this curly bracket here. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do. All right. Hmm. Is it kind of redundant? Because we already have comma and comma, right? So can we just write this as ij instead of curly bracket i comma j? Because that, that kind of sounds redundant, right? How about just ij? Right? Because you already have comma as a meta function, all right? Juxta notation, right? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, juxta notation, just like sigma pi, right? 
i from 1 to n comma okay 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma dot 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 comma n okay so but when it become two dimensional uh, One comma two, one comma three, right? And then two comma three. Yeah. I think just plain vanilla concatenation, concatenation. I think it will do. Okay, so all right, we'll leave at that. <sighs> okay. So, when we, if you want to generalize this NCR, uh, we cannot call it I J K. We cannot call it X Y Z. Okay, we have to call it I one, I two, I three, da 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 I R. Like x1, x2, x3, dot 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 xn, okay? So uh, we'll take five minutes break, okay? And then we'll de formally define combinatorial set. Alright? Yeah. We may need another whiteboard, okay? Because this is, uh, it's not difficult, but a little bit convoluted, okay, a little bit involved, all right, but it's, it's not like gold box conjecture proof, okay, it's not that difficult. Very mechanical, okay, it takes some time and space, that's all, okay. So, yeah. Give me five minutes, okay. <coughs>
Okay, so we are back. Yeah, I'm stuck at home because I'm too drunk to drive. I have breathalyzer in my car, in my house. I have two of them, okay? So, yeah, I'm too drunk to drive, so. I eat no food, water. No problem, okay? So, <sighs> okay, let's generalize this. Okay, let's take a break from mathematics, okay? I I went to Barnes & Noble. Yeah, in Alaska, we have one Barnes & Noble bookstore, okay? Because I happen to be in Anchorage, Alaska, okay? Uh, it's like one hour south of this valley where I live, right? Here, Alaska. The valley, okay? Okay, yeah, on business, all right. Yeah, I was in Anchorage a couple of days ago and went to Barnes & Noble, okay, bookstore, and then um, I was so surprised to see this magazine. It's called BTS. What's BTS stand for? Yeah, this Korean band, they have their own magazine. I was like, <laughs> so I couldn't resist taking a peek at it. Yeah, I looked at it. Okay, BTS. What does this stand for? Wikipedia. Okay, I'm sure they have Wikipedia. Uh, maybe Batang sound, background noise. Okay, Batang, Sonyeondan, Sonyeondan, okay. Yeah, background boys, okay. Batang means background, okay, so. Oh, no, the Bangtan. What does Bangtan mean in Korean? I, I have no idea, man. Bangtan Sonyeondan. Yeah, it's like boys club. I guess. They have their own magazine. Translated in English. And somehow if they, the BTS magazine found its way to all the way to Alaska, America, okay. I was like, oh my goodness. I took a look, but I couldn't help, okay. This Korean boys, okay. And uh, I mean, they're pretty boys, right? Have some Asian Korean boys. Yeah, they're good looking, I get it, all right. But, so I looked up their YouTube video, okay? So flimsy, shallow, okay? They call themselves BTS, right? I prefer old school, Korean, three boy band, STB. What's that? Yeah, so Teji Boys. Teji Boys, okay? That's my preference because I'm old school, okay? Teji Boys. Sotezi and boys, they got some good stuff there, okay? Musician, dancer, okay? Yeah. So that's what this note is about, okay? So yeah, Barnes & Noble, okay? I picked up this Korean band, old boy band, okay? I looked at it, okay? Paying some tribute, okay? Yeah, they're handsome, pretty boys. I get it, good looking, okay? Uh, and I put it back, and then I picked up uh, this all American magazine about American history, the Roaring Twenties. Yeah, the age of Charlie Chaplin and all that jazz, big band. Okay, yeah, you Greta Garbo. Okay, 
Yeah, white people, black people, yeah, 1920s, the roaring 20s, okay, yeah, they were beautiful, all that jazz, right, huge fan of jazz, by the way, okay, jazz, yeah, amazing, okay, so, <laughs> we get back to this, okay, uh, we, we're gonna need another whiteboard, alright, so, let me take a picture of this, okay? Oh. Did I cry? Did I cry again last episode? What did I cry about? <laughs> Did I ever cry last episode? I think I did. I, I have no idea why I cried. What? Oh, my mathematics is too short. Oh. I have this accent. Oh, nobody can understand me. I don't know what I cried about, okay? I, I, I don't remember. But I, I do remember I cried. I don't remember what I cried about. I don't know. Okay, shut up. Oh, gold bars conjecture is too difficult. Oh. <sighs> but combinatorial set, okay, it's not that difficult, okay, so. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we'll grab another whiteboard and continue. Let's take five minutes break, shall we? Okay. <sighs> Die of coke, give me reason to live. Uh, it's good. <clears throat> Let's take five minutes, okay? So. <sighs>
All right. Uh, Pang Tan, it can ring the bell. I think it means corruption, okay? They call themselves corrupted boys. Come on. All these monster children, right? Yeah. So demonic monsters, all this generation. <sighs> Kids, okay, monster babies. They call themselves corrupted boys, corruption. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry, I cannot erase this, okay, because we have Yota function, okay. Uh, did I take a picture of this? I'm sure I did. I cannot erase this. This is just way too important, okay? So. Let me write this down, all right? We are not corrupted, okay? We are good people. We don't stand up for corruption or demonic spirits, no. We like it clean, right? Physis physicists, what do they do? Dark matter. This. Come on. Black hole. <sighs> Life on Mars, whatever, right? Aliens. They were science fiction, okay? <sighs> okay, what we have here is Cantorian uh, hybrid, right? If this Boolean expression, equality, if it's true, <coughs> I'll put universal set. If this is false, I'll put empty set, okay? So, universal set, empty set, u, phi, is like one and zero, right? So, it's not Boolean hybrid, it's Cantorian hybrid, okay? In Kalinian Kli hybrid, you have phi as zero and epsilon empty string as one. Okay, so <coughs> you have Boolean hybrid, Cantorian hybrid, and Kalinian hybrid. Okay, all right. Yeah, I can erase this. It's just too important. Okay, so <sighs> your top function. E stands for extraction function, okay? It's, it just extracts uh, the index. Index extraction function, all right? So that's what E is, okay? Let me grab another whiteboard so that I can erase, restart, renew. All right, so. Ah, boy. I don't know.
Yeah, we'll grab this guy, okay? I'm still wondering What did I cry about last time? I don't recall, okay? I, I... Memory escapes me sometimes, okay? Yeah, I don't smoke marijuana, but... You know... I do drink and... I guess I kind of blacked out, okay? I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> I remember crying so hard, right? Yeah. But I don't know why I cried. I exercise, I guess. Okay, so... NCR, all right. Oh boy. It will look something like this. Okay, so NCR. Okay. You have I one from one to Okay. So there you have it. <sighs> don't ask me why. Why? Because I don't know. <laughs> Now we are laughing, we are not crying, okay? Yeah, this, what, this Actors Guild, right? Screen Actors Guild, SAG. Yeah, this, two masks. Laugh and cry, right? Previous episode, I don't know why I cried, but now we are laughing. Why? I don't know. I guess some ups and downs in life. The vicissitude. Do I know how to spell it? Yeah, vicissitude. Ups and downs, okay? It's like sinu... Sinuous, this sine curve, okay? Vicissitude.
I think that's how you spell it. Okay, let me look it up. Okay, because I don't want to misquote. Another big word. Yeah, pulchritude. It means beauty. Adjective form, yeah, pulchritudinous, right? Yeah, it's a beautiful word. But vicissitude, let me look it up, okay? I don't want to misspell. Yeah, I misspelled. <clears throat> this is so tude, all right. Let's space it. This is a tude, okay, it's ups and downs in life. Tide and ebb, ebb and tide, okay, night and day, in and yang, plus and minus, okay, so. Laugh and cry, okay. <sighs> Whatever. We'll take five minutes break, okay, and then. <clears throat> yeah, you see the repeating pattern, right? Yeah, we'll spell it out. We'll contract this. Okay. <sighs> Give me five minutes, please. All right. And then we'll get to the bottom of this. Okay. So. Yeah. You see repeating pattern, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's cosmos, right? It's not as chaotic random as prime number theory but pr even prime number theory is not that random okay <sighs> because prime number set is nothing but s Cantorian set subtraction okay you subtract from natural number with composite numbers then you have prime numbers is Arato's tenancy sieve okay and composite number yeah that's multiples right yeah there's nothing chaotic about prime number okay if you think about it right uh but it's not exactly composite number is yes yeah it's, it is composite number okay so set of composite numbers yeah it's just union okay i from one to n or infinity whatever okay uh of this proper multiple that we call mu right what is what is mu Multiples of I minus I itself. Okay? <coughs> Proper multiples. Okay? Mu 2. Multiples of 2. Set subtraction 2 itself. Okay? So mu 2 equals like 4, 6, 8, mu 3. 6, 9, 12, okay, so multiple of 3, except 3 itself, so that's the proper multiple, okay, so there you have it, okay, so let me take a picture of this, and we'll take a break, and we're gonna generalize this guy, okay, so, yeah, you, you have closed form formula for prime numbers, okay, so, <sighs> Thank you.
I'm still wondering what did I cry about last time. Beats me, okay? I, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, now I remember. LGBT people? Oh, yeah. They're good people, okay, mostly, right? Yeah, there's some good cops, bad cops, right? Good LGBT, bad LGBT, right? Yeah. Yeah! Oh. They show me some sympathy, knowing that I'm anti-LGBT, but LGBT people still. They may not be Christians, okay, but they somehow knew how to love their enemies. Knowing that I'm anti-LGBT. When I was in law school, okay, President Barack Obama, very liberal, right? Yeah, so I was alone in this anti-gayism. So these LGBT people, they look back in the days, okay, they used to be excluded, ostracized, even bullied upon, okay? And now they see me as a minority, anti-gayist. And they knew, because I told them, okay, I, yeah, I'm anti-gayist. I oppose gay marriage. All these LGBT people, okay? And they took pity on me, because back in the days, they used to be minority. Now they are majority, right? Pro-gayism. And they knew I opposed their ideology, but at the same time, they may not be Christians. But they knew somehow how to love their enemies. Me. I'm minority as an anti-gayist. So yeah, they remembered back in the days they used to be minority. LGBT. Okay? So that took pity on me, knowing that I opposed their ideology. So that's why I cried and cried, right? Yeah. Love unconditional. Something very beautiful, okay? Yeah. I'm not against people, I'm against ideologies. Some of them. Alright. Yeah, LGBT people, they're fantastic, okay? Good people, I get it. I know. I've seen them, right? That's why I cried and cried, right? I was wondering why I cried so hard. Yeah, they're cool, okay? Yeah, they're... Good people, okay? It's, it's just that uh, we disagree, right? It, it's good. Diversity of ideas. It's good that we are different. Checks and balances. Diversity. Okay? Yeah. We take five minutes, okay? We we'll generalize this guy, okay? Go ahead, do it, publish it, okay? So whatever. <clears throat>
Okay. We are back. All right. So. This is so tudinous. Ups and downs in life, adjective form, okay, like pulchritudinous. <sighs> Let's generalize this. I mean, general term, okay, it goes like N minus I, J, K, uh, we use J, right? It's upstairs. How about I zero as zero, okay? Because we want to conform to this pattern, right? By definition, I zero is zero, okay? So Okay, let's give it some space in between. I J I J minus one plus one. Okay, so that's the general term, all right? Okay. How many times do, do we do this? Uh, R times. Okay, so the horizontal juxtaposition, right? It's a nested juxtaposition, okay? J from 1 to R, I think, all right? Yeah, you got it. Let me take a picture of this, okay? Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, master baby, okay? Uh. It's monstrous, right? But still, it's our baby, right? Yeah, so we cannot hate this baby. We have to love them still, okay? When I was in New York, all right, yeah, I, I would, went to Cornell University, which happened to be my boss place, Ithaca, New York, okay, yeah, my mom and dad, I talk to them all the time, okay, in Korean, right, oh, hello, yeah, I'm doing fine, how are you, they're doing fine, okay, so, 
Yeah, when I was in New York, okay, I would take this bus from Ithaca, New York, all the way to Manhattan, New York, okay. And there's this bus stop in the middle, okay, it's like five, five hours drive, okay. There's this town called Binghamton, <laughs> okay. Bus station, okay, so uh, I met this kind and generous African American gentleman, okay. And he would tell me this joke, okay. Hey, I tell you a joke, okay. <sighs> this lady friend of mine. I gave her money, and she gave me baby. Okay, it was so fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I gave her money, and she gave me a baby. Okay, so it's like that. Do you get it? Do you get this joke? Yeah, I'm dating this lady. I gave her money and she gave me baby. <laughs> she gave me a baby, okay, so. It takes even more money, right? Because you have to raise this child. That's the joke, okay, so. African Americans, okay, this fantastic sense of humor, okay, so. Did I take a picture of this? I'm sure I did. Let me double check. Yeah, I did take a picture. Okay. So here. Okay. So that's your combinatorial set function. Okay. So it takes two input positive integers and bigger or equal to R. Right. There you have it. All right. So you're not going to find this anywhere in the world except here in this Google YouTube human knowledge series. Okay. You're not going to find this formula anywhere else in the world. It's forced in time. Okay? I guarantee you. Alright? Yeah, maybe some different language. Maybe they came up with this before we did. Maybe it's rediscovery in some different notational convention. I don't know. But my guess, yeah, probably it's forced in time. Alright? It took us to figure this out, okay? Oh, boy. Yeah, J is local variable, I, local variable. You have nested commas, right? But there you have it, okay? It's the power of juxta notation, juxtaposition or notation convention, okay? Juxtaposition, notation, convention, right? Yeah, we, we're hip hop artists, okay? We can rap, we can jive. We, we can rhyme like Mr. Pusta rhymes, okay, so by now. We take five minutes break, okay, so let me write this down, okay, it's in my notebook. <sighs> we came a long way, okay, yeah. Yeah, there's this Techno musician, British American, right? Fat boy slim. Praise you, right? Dun dun da dun dun. Dun dun da dun dun. We came a long, long way together. Through the good time, bad time, and the good. I have to celebrate you, baby. I have to praise you like I should. I zero is by definition zero, okay, so. Let me zip up and sing, okay? Let me SH up and sing, all right? And also this is by definition.
attention to details, right? Yeah. Paying attention to detail, right? And British band, yeah, techno, house, whatever. Uh, Groove Armada, okay. I love that band, man. Oh, Groove Armada. Yeah, they're cool. I see you, baby. Shaking that kaisto. Shaking that kaisto. I have to watch my mouth, all right? Google, YouTube, yeah, they warned me and I'm complying to their demand. Policy compliance officers, yeah, they're cool, okay, yeah. They told me a lesson. They were very kind and generous to me, okay. Good people in California, I guess. I don't know, maybe they're in China or who knows where they are. Maybe India, maybe Vietnam, I don't know. Maybe Bangladesh, I don't know where they are at. <sighs> we'll take a break, alright? We got it. That's your combinatorial set function, okay? Pyramid number theory, okay? So, yeah. Oh, monster baby, okay? It's ugly, but ugly duckling. It's still our baby, okay? So, yeah. What do we do with this baby, okay? We have to love them, right? Yeah. We'll take five, okay?
Okay, I got back. Yeah, we gave enough love to mathematics, okay? Let's... Take a break from mathematics, okay? Uh, we, we got it, okay? We have Yota function, we have combinatorial set function, okay? Uh, let's not think about mathematics anymore, alright? For now, okay? Yeah, let's just sing and dance, okay? Uh, when I was in college, two decades ago, okay? I had many friends from India, all places, okay? Yeah, I majored in computer science, so... Indians, we are talking about South Asia, India by Mahatma Gandhi and Indira Gandhi, whatever, okay. Nehru, all right. That former British colony, all right. Dead India, okay. So, oh, yeah. I had friends when I was in college in Madison, Wisconsin, okay. Yeah, we would go to gym together, working out, right. Because they are computer science majors, just like I was, all right. So, uh. They are very good at mathematics. Okay? Yeah, like Mr. Ramanujan, Srinivasa Ramanujan, right? How do you say hello in Hindi? I used to know. It's like Namaste, something like that. Okay. I'm a huge fan of India, okay? And so was the Beatles. Dun, 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 dun. Without going out the window. Let me sing sing you that tune, okay? Lyrics. What's the name of that song? <sighs> Inner Light Without going out of my door da, 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 da. I can know all these things on earth Without looking out of my window I could know the ways of heaven The Father one travels da, 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 da. The last one knows da, 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 da. The last one really knows <sighs> Arrive without traveling, see all without looking, do all without doing. <sighs> Indian fusion, the Beatles. Okay, oh, I'm a huge fan, all right? So, yeah, I had friends in college, okay, Indian friends, okay, and then also in Cornell University, too, when I was doing PhD. Yeah, I ended up dropping out because it was too much, all right? Yes, too much mathematics, okay? Yeah, all we do here is mathematics, but I wanted to do mathematics as a hobby, not as my job, okay? No.
I want to do it when I want to. Mathematics, okay, so. I want to enjoy mathematics. Uh, that's why I had to drop out of PhD program because too much mathematics, okay. Uh, no. Mandatory math. I couldn't do it, okay, so. So yeah, my Indian friends, okay. Some of them, they just study, study, and study, okay. So I took them out. And I brought them to a dance club, okay. I taught them how to dance. Okay? Yeah. Uh, because, yeah, don't study all the time, okay. Yeah, come, come with me to a dance club, okay. I teach you how to dance, right. That's what we're going to do after five minutes break, okay. I teach you how to dance, right. So. Because you gotta exercise, right? Yeah, you gotta exercise. Okay, so I teach you how to dance. Okay. All right. We dance. I'll be right back, alright?
Okay, you know, the basics of dancing, I, I'm not gonna teach you. Who can academy, okay? If they teach you how to dance, I don't know. Go, go, to, go to Google YouTube, okay? Some other website, okay? I'm not gonna teach you how to dance, the basics, because we are in humanology, okay? Uh, we do advanced stuff. It's like uh, we discover something brand new. That's what we do here, okay? So, yeah, how about this music by Busta Rhymes? I'm a huge fan. Mr. Mr. Booster Rhymes, okay, so dangerous, right? Huge fan, okay. African Americans, right? Ah, that's so cool. Okay. So in this music video, there's this guy. It's like district attorney's assistant. District attorney's assistant, DAA, okay. Mr. Booster Rhymes, right? And there's, there's this guy who do all this crumping dance style originated from South LA, okay? So, I've been to South LA, okay? They're cool, okay? Because I was come to programmer in Los Angeles, part-time actor, okay? And then I, I, I wanted to visit, pay a visit to this South LA, okay? Because I'm a huge fan of crumping dancing style. So, yeah, I went there and then bought some ice cream. Okay, so it was good. Okay, so in the middle of the night, right? Yeah, they were very kind and generous to me. Okay, so yeah, booster rhymes, right? Dangerous, so dangerous. You should have a healthy fear of us. Fantastic percussion, okay. You know, yeah, I told you I'm gonna teach you how to dance, okay. I'm too sleepy, okay, so, but yeah, sleep dancing, sleep walking, okay, so, yeah, it goes like this, okay. It's like heartbeat. Oh, walking, okay. Okay, yeah, that's what I can give you. I danced. Just a little bit, okay, like 50 cents. Okay, yeah, just a little bit, please. Itty bitty tiny little bit. Blessing, okay, uh, some Indian fusion beetles. How does it start? Indian Fusion Beatles, I'm a huge fan, okay? 
da 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 Each day goes so fast and then dun 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 Ah Indian music okay I'm huge fan Indian curry rice oh huge fan okay so <laughs> they are so good Indians that discovered zero Alright so they are very special people okay so Within you and without you, how does it start? Yeah, Georgie Harrison, okay. Yeah. You know, with your allowance, let me play this just a little bit, okay? Uh, I don't recall how it starts within you and without you. Now I get it, okay? Da 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 We are talking about the space between us all and the people who hide themselves behind the wall of illusion. Never glimpse the truth, then it's far too late when they pass away. Da 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 We are talking about the love we all could share when we find it to try our best to hold it there without love, without love we could save the world if they only knew Na, 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 na. Try to realize it's all within yourself. No one else can make you change. Da, 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 da. And to see you only, only, only very small. The light flows on within you and without you. Da. Fantastic, okay. Indian Fusion, the Beatles, oh, that's so good. Universal, India, the universe, Buddhism, Hinduism, okay. Yeah, they have this uh, Brahma, three gods in India, okay. God of creation, maintenance, and God of destruction, right. So it's like uh, Brahma is kind of like Abraham, okay? So I'm sure they are related, okay? Abraham, Brahma, right? And then Vishnu, uh, God of maintenance. God of creation is like Abraham, Brahma, okay? God of maintenance, Vishnu, and God of destruction, uh, 
Shiva, right? Yeah, three gods in Hinduism, okay. Whatever. But yeah, we are not a huge fan of destruction, okay? No, it's too negative. We don't do that, all right? We want to create and maintain, okay? We don't want to destroy anything, all right? Some other Beatles lyrics. How some other songs, okay? Maybe Carpenters. I sing you some Carpenter. I'm a huge fan. Carpenter. Top of the world. <coughs> Such a feeling coming over me. There's a wonder in everything I see. It's too fast. I like slow music, okay, so. How about Superstar? You know, let's take five minutes, okay? I sing you this song, okay? It's too cold. I gotta turn on the heat off. Uh, right? Okay. Yeah, we are having this midnight express, midnight karaoke session, okay? Yeah, uh, 
when I go visit my parents in Seoul, South Korea, yeah, we do karaoke, okay. And uh, the difference between American karaoke and Korean karaoke, American karaoke is very public, right? Korean karaoke is very private. You get private room, okay. So yeah, I go to karaoke with my Korean family when I go visit them, okay. Last time it was like three years ago, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they're a huge fan of American 70s and because they came here in America and gave birth to me, okay? And they brought back all these cassette tapes back in the days. American music, okay? Yeah, we, we were talking about Carpenters, Bee Gees, <sighs> Billy Joel, Jackson 5, okay? 1970s. So I grew up listening to all those wonderful American 70s music, okay, so I sing one. Yeah, Superstar is kind of minor chord. We don't want any negativity here, so let's be positive. Yesterday once more, okay? Dun, dun, dun. When I was young, I would listen to the radio. Waiting for my favorite song When they played, I sing along It made me smile Those were such happy times and not so long ago How I wonder where they are gone But they're back again Just like a long lost friend all the songs I love so well Every sha la 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 Every rose to shine Beautiful song, okay Carpenters, oh, they're so cool Okay Yeah, so beautiful So I will sing these songs in front of my parents and siblings, okay then I'll start to cry. Oh, these songs are so beautiful, it made me cry. Oh. <laughs> Good old days. Yeah. Okay. How about the Bee Gees? <clears throat> Massachusetts. I've never been to Massachusetts, okay, but I love this song by the Bee Gees, Brother Gibbs, right? Cello. Da 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 Feel I'm going back to Massachusetts Da 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 Something's telling me I must go home And the lights all went out in Massachusetts Beautiful song, okay, oh Yeah, I mean, disco, right? Huge fan of disco, okay? Disco hairstyle. Back in the days when I was in Fort Hood, Texas, when I was in the U.S. Army, we had this Halloween party, house party, right? And I wore this disco wig. This kind of puff ball, right? Yeah.
good old days. Yeah, Bee Gees, they wrote a lot of dance songs. Right, yeah. But I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood of dancing, okay? So, we just sing. How about the beautiful South? The British. You know, I did backpacking back in the days to Europe, all right? And I'm because I'm a huge fan of the beautiful South, the British band, right? Yeah, there's some funny story about the beautiful South and Fat Boy Slim, okay? Because these two guys, British guys, yeah, they went separate ways, but they used to be have this House Martin, right? Yeah. And two guys, House Martin, okay, England, British, okay, so uh, one guy came to America and started doing this techno house music, right? The other guy stayed in Britain and he created this beautiful South. Okay? Yeah, I'm a huge fan of both of them, Fat Boy Slim. Beautiful South, okay. House Martin, all right, yeah. We'll take five minutes, okay? I'll tell you about, story about Beautiful South. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Just give me five minutes, okay? So, I have some vocal rest.
Okay, we are back. You know, I have three browsers in my cell phone, okay? It's like uh, Bing, which is my favorite. And then Google Chrome. And then, yeah, Mozilla Firefox. Very groovy, okay? They're cool. I really want to sing this song, Beaches Dance Music Disco, okay? I'm a huge fan of disco. I'm at home, so I can drink, because I'm not driving anywhere. Alright, so let me drink some, okay? Yeah, Night Fever, right? I have to sing this song. Maybe I dance a little, okay? Sitting down, back in the days, when I was in Anchorage, okay? I met these two African-American ladies in this dance club, okay? They were sitting on a couch, but they were dancing too. Sitting, dancing, okay? I, you have this Kill Bill movie by uh, Senore Quentin Tarantino. Yes, you sit down, you can still do martial art, right? Yeah, what did I do, okay? Leopard style, I almost fell, right? Yeah, oh. 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 I'm a leopard. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we can sit down. We can dance too, okay? Let's dance. So I tried to dance with these two African American ladies. In Anchorage, they said no. I'm like, okay. I just dance by myself. <laughs> Ladies, right? Yeah, they're picky. Okay, so whatever. Yeah, the Bee Night Fever, ladies and gentlemen. Da -da -da. Listen to the ground. There's move more around. There's something going down. And I can't feel it. On the webs of the air, there's a dancing out here. If something we can share, we can steal it. And the sweet city woman, she moves to the light, controlling my mind and my soul. When you reach out for me, yeah, the feeling is right. Then you get, I get night fever, night fever. We know how to do it. Give me the night fever, night fever. We know how to show it. Ooh. Love that. Oh. Okay. The beautiful South, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. British. Yeah, I went this backpacking trip to Europe. Okay. And that I was in youth hostel, right? It's like bunk bed, right? All of us young people, okay? And I met this group of British people. And I started talking about, hey, I'm a huge fan of the Beautiful South. You know Beautiful South, don't you? Of course they do. Beautiful South, not very well known in America, but in Europe. Very well known, okay? They're huge in Europe. How did I find them? Find out? Found out what them? Uh, yeah, French Kiss is American Hollywood movie. Okay, and I looked it up because there's this song. Stars shining bright above you, night breezes seem to whisper I love you. Birds singing in the sycamore trees, dream a little dream of me. Dun, dun, dun. Say nighty night and kiss me Just hold me tight and tell me you miss me Why I'm alone and lonely as can be Dream a little dream of me da -da -da. Uh, That's the beautiful South rendition Yeah, Mama and Papa, they sang it Before that, some other 
groups. Um, so yeah, that's how I came about this beautiful song, man. Oh. They are flagship song, okay? Because me in youth hostel hang out with these British young people. We sang this all together, okay? Something in common, okay? The beautiful South. They are British young people in youth hostel backpacking. What country was there? I think it was in France. Okay? Yeah, youth hostel. Me, Korean American, and them. British backpacking, okay. Uh, it could have been Amsterdam actually, Netherlands. I don't know, it's been a while, all right. Two decades ago, okay. I have very good memory because I don't smoke marijuana, okay. Yeah, I smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol, drink water. Let's take five minutes, okay. My vocal cord is very sensitive and fragile, all right, so we'll take five minutes, okay? I sing you the beautiful sound. Title of the song, Song for Whoever. Sing with me, okay? Just look it up. The beautiful sound lyrics, Song for Whoever, all right? Sing with me, okay? Look up the lyrics. <sighs> Night is still young, okay? I'm not going anywhere. It's like Sunday morning, I guess. What? Two o'clock? Yes. Sunday morning. Having this night fever, so I took some ibuprofen, okay? <laughs> Headache. It's all gone, alright? So. We have one hour left, okay, so, plenty of time. Like Twilight Zone says, yeah, time enough at last, right, yeah. We did good job, okay, mathematics. We just taking a break from mathematics because we did enough service to mathematics. We came a long way, okay? Yeah, Fat Boy Slim, praise you, alright? House Martin. <sighs> the beautiful South, alright? So. I love this crowberry, Alaskan crowberries, okay? I picked them up like a year ago and it's still good, okay, so because I put in the vodka. Yeah. Crowberry vodka, oh, I, I love it. Medicinal drink, okay, it's Korean tradition, alright. Right, we'll take a break, okay, so I'll be right back, okay?
Okay, we are back. As promised, I sing you this song. Okay. Ah, beautiful song by the beautiful South. Right. Very popular to the nose, okay. And I mean, a long history, right? Uh, the first female lead singer, Brian Corrigan, okay. So, second, yeah, Jacqueline Abbott. Third, uh, I don't remember her name, all right. They were cool, okay. Yeah, fantastic vocalist, female singers, okay. There, three of them, they are all good. Okay. I'm sorry about my hair. Okay, it's my weekend, so <laughs> I'm just trying to cover up my balding spot. Okay, uh, not quite working, right? Yeah, better, worse, whatever. We we'll sing a song for whoever. Okay. Cut rhyme. Yeah. Rose hips vodka, Alaskan st style. Yeah, Shakira, she's Hispanic. She's very beautiful lady, percutaneous lady. Okay. She sang, oh, my hips don't lie. Well, the only hips I get is rose, Alaskan rose hips. Well, it's good because it's in vodka, okay? So it works. Quoting from Lost in Translation, right? Mr. Bill Murray, love that movie, okay? I have DVD of that, okay? Yeah, whiskey works. Well, <clears throat> yeah, whiskey is good. Yeah, Ram Max Corn, Corn Max Whiskey, and Whiskey Max My Baby, a little frisky. Some country song, okay, whatever. Let me zip it up and sing, okay? Goes like this. Dun, 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 dun. I love you from the bottom of my pencil case. I love you in the songs I write and sing. Love you because you put me in my rightful place. Da, da, da. And I love the PRS checks that you bring. Cheap, never cheap. I sing your songs till you're asleep. When you gone upstairs, I creep. And ride all down, 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 down. Oh, Shirley, oh, Deborah, oh, Julie, oh, Jane. Wrote so many songs about you. I forget John, I forget John. Jennifer, Alice, Philippa, Sue, Deborah, Annabelle, too. I forget John and Jennifer, Alice, Philippa, Sue. Deborah and I will too. I forget your name. Beautiful song. Let's take a break from all this Midnight Express, Midnight Karaoke session, all right? I keep singing, okay? I promise. Just give me a break, okay? Where's my high bush cranberry vodka? Right here, right? High bush cranberry in Alaska, man. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Very pungent, sour, low sugar, high vitamin, antioxidant, okay? Berries in Alaska, man, they, they, they are something else, okay? So. Have you ever had salmon berry? I had, okay. I went to hiking a couple of years ago. Alaskan salmon berry is like, looks like raspberry, okay, but it's bigger, far more. 
and not as sweet. It's kind of like bitter sweet, very sour. Okay, oh, I love that. Okay, salmon berry, Alaskan salmon berry. Okay, there's something else. Okay, please farm them and sell it. I'll buy it. Alaskan rose hips, man. Oh, the only hips I get, right? Alaskan rose hips. Let me put on my socks. My feet are cold. Okay, so. Can you put your socks while you are still standing? I can, I know my heart. Crane style, okay, yeah. I have a good sense of balance. Yeah. Practice my heart, okay? And practice dancing as well. Yeah, just chilling, all right. Let me zip it up and sing this song for you, okay? I love you from the bottom of my pencil case. I love the way you never Ask me why I love to write, write, I love to write it down. It's wrinkled on your face, da da. And I love you till my fountain pen runs dry. Deep, so deep, the number one I hope to reap depends upon the tears you weep. So cry, lovely cry. Cry, 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 oh, oh, Kathy, oh, Alison, oh, Philippa, oh, Sue. You made me so much money. I wrote this song for you. I wrote this song for you. Jennifer, Alison, Philippa, Sue, Deborah, Annabelle, too. I wrote this song for you. Jennifer, Alipa, Philippa, Sue, and Deborah, Annabelle, too. I wrote this song for you. Love this song. Yeah. Let's give some love to uh, Fat Boy Slim, okay? Yeah. Praise you. He's fantastic, right? Yeah. House Martin, alumnus. Okay. Beautiful South, Fat Boy Slim, they used to be House Martin. They used to be together, okay. And the other guy came to America and started to write this techno house music, right? The other guy stayed in Britain, Europe, okay. The beautiful South, all right, okay, whatever. Fat Boy Slim, praise you. It goes like this. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun. We've come a long, long way together. Through the hard times and the good. I have to celebrate you, baby. I have to praise you like a shoe. Walking bass, right? It's a dance song, okay?
We come a long way together Through the hard times and the good I have to celebrate you, baby I have to praise you as I should I have to praise you Dun 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 La 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 Fantastic dance song, okay. How cool about my dad? Huge fan. I see you, baby. Lyrics. Yeah, African American or African European rappers, okay, they did this, okay, so they, yes, hired people, okay, session singer, session guitarist, whatever, okay, whatever. Yeah, fantastic, okay, so. I see you, baby. Guru Vamada. They have Fat Boy Slim mix, okay? Let's do Fat Boy Slim mix. This the house, the funk built, groove Amada style. And percussion man. Oh what? This lyrics websites they don't always work, right? Yeah. Let me try another browser. Okay, yeah, this. this is the house of that funk built. Guru Vama style. Percussion, okay. We'll take five minutes, bro, alright? I'll be back and I sing you this Fat Boy Slim remix of Guru Vama the. I see you, baby, right? Uh, it's kind of PG-13-ish, right? But I'm not going to pronounce that word, A-S-S. -S. I use this more nuanced, circumlocutory, kind of like roundabout word, Kaista, okay? <laughs> so it's not going to be as good, okay? But still, I have to watch my mouth, all right? So. 
Give me five minutes, okay. Scarf. We are not suicidalist, okay, so we are survivalist. Right? Yeah. We we'll survive this night. Okay. We don't we reject negativity. So minus time minus is plus, right? We reject negativity. We are always positive. We are not pessimistic. We are optimists. There's good future ahead of us. God, thank you. We sing and dance, all right? So just give me five minutes, please. Okay. Let's bring in some Alaska oxygen in, in the room, okay? So. Okay. Yeah, let's do this, all right? <sighs> Fat Boy Slim mix of Guru Bamada. Okay, they are both British, okay? Kind of British American, okay? Or British breed, whatever, all right? This is the house that Funk built. Groove Amada style. All right, I'm checking you all you this evening, and as you see, you sitting around. But we ain't gonna have none of that this evening, child. That's right. Don't be looking at me like that. See, my name's Grandma Funky. Funky, if you are nasty, darling. And you got to stay nasty. But see, I need 
a little more volume you know what I'm saying African European or African American style is so cool language of jive soul language oh, this is fantastic right beautiful African Americans okay or European Americans okay I mean European African Americans African Europeans okay Hip hop, oh, that's so cool. That's beautiful. But see, I need more volume. You know what I'm saying? Give me volume on everything, cause I want you to hear me out. I wanna hear myself against the world. Check it out. If you love grandma funky, yo, you're my grandbabies. So get ready to get down, get funky, get loose. And it goes like this. Ooh, ooh, I see you, baby, shaking my cowstone, shaking my cowstone. Ooh, I see you, baby. Oh, shaking your cowstone. Yeah. You know, I asked for some allowance to Google YouTube. Okay. Give me cart blanche. Let me upload anything, okay? And they didn't get back to me, okay? So I cannot say that ASS word. I have to say Kaistone, okay? It's not the same, right? But if Google to come back to me and say, oh yeah, we're gonna give cart blanche. Say whatever you want. We give you cart blanche. Then I will do better. Okay, but until then, all I can say is, I see you, baby, shaking that kaistor, shaking that kaistor. It's not the same, right? <sighs> oh well. Go figure. Okay, where's my head scarf? Nightcap. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> now what? Yeah, we can do some martial arts, all right? So, uh, Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Let's not be so lazy, okay? Let's work. Yeah, when I was in Madison, Wisconsin, right? I worked in supermarket, right? It has big warehouse. And I was in night shift, graveyard shift, right? So I met some Tibetans, Tibetans. Tibet Buddhist, right? Yeah, this reincarnation concept is from Tibetan Buddhism, all right? So, yeah. It's about circle. Buddhist, Buddhists, they love circle, okay? Night and day, night and day, sign curve, right? Yeah. Greeks, they love triangle, right? Yeah. Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So I learned from Tibetan Americans, okay? My friends, we worked in a grocery supermarket in Madison, Wisconsin, okay? We had graveyard shift, night time. So in our leg time, we not that many customers at night, right? We go to bed. Go back to warehouse and practice my art. Okay, so they taught me this fingering. Okay, yeah. 
Okay. I was blown away, man. I just, yeah. Yeah, I can do it with my left hand backward. Okay. Not just finger, wrist too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's Chinese martial art, but at the same time, it's the Tibetan Buddhist twist, right? Yeah, they told me. Tibetan Buddhist martial art style. So cool. I mean, yeah, let's do martial art. Give me five minutes break, okay? So. With the martial art, okay. So. Let's get physical, like the lady said. Olivia Newton John, okay, whatever. Olivia Newton John, okay. Let's get physical, okay. So, give me five minutes. Three. Okay. Oh no! Why yes? Whatever. Okay, yeah. We do some martial art, okay? So. In order to strengthen our spirit, our mind and body, martial art, that's the solution, okay? So. Yeah, yes, how are t shirts? Okay, but it's not colorful enough, so let me change. Yeah, it's long pants. I have short pants underneath, okay, so no problem. Okay.
Yeah, I gotta dress for occasion, right? Is this better? Uh, let me sit down and drink a little, okay? Come on. It's my Sunday too, okay? So, you're working over time, right? Yeah, my hair, I'm sorry about my hair, okay, but <laughs> there's nothing I can do. I'm losing my hair, okay, I try to grab hold of that. Oh, my hair, where are you going? Yeah, inspired by President Trump cartoon, editorial cartoonists, right? Hey, hair, why are, where are you going? Oh, I have to cover it up, okay. I don't know. Barrel wars, whatever. Okay. So. Ow! I I guess it look better now. Okay. Yeah. It's got some color, spiky, whatever. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me have some tongs. A joke. Oh, you're like a P U S S Y. You're like a girl. Do some martial arts, be a man. <sighs> well, sometimes we need a break, okay? Oh, your stomach is aching. Your esophagus. Hmm? So you need some thumbs. But yeah, I know. You got no money, right? Generic brand. You're pathetic. Eh, uh, maybe. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Just ordinary guy, okay? Trying to eke out the living, right? I go to work Monday to Friday, okay? Yeah. Just an average American, right? That's all, that's all I am, right? Nothing special, nobody special, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's do this, all right? Let's just, let's get this done and over with, okay? So yeah, you can, yeah, t try this, okay? Yeah, when I was in Madison, Wisconsin, I met this fantastic gentleman from Tibet. So there's a Tibetan martial arts style, right? This rotating this rod with fingers. Okay. Not just fingers, with your wrist too. Okay. Okay. And not just that, I kind of expanded that. Yeah, you can also do this with your elbow. Okay. Your elbow, okay. Yeah, like this. Uh, yeah, use your elbow, right, like that, and then use, use your armpit, shoulder. Yeah, it's Chinese martial arts. You do this, right, and with your back, oh, uh, under your leg. Okay. Okay, let's try this much art. Okay, all right. Let's do some nunchucks, okay? You know, I'm not good at nunchucks, okay? I drop it all the time, right? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, just elbow, right? Oh. Yeah, you can go under the leg, right? Behind your back over your head 
and all around your neck even okay right that's that let me take a breath Let me get another pair of glasses because I'm wearing green. I have green glasses. Okay, this is brown. It's too bland, right? Yeah, I like matching colors. Okay, this is my green glasses, right? I used to have light or green glasses, orange glasses, okay, but way back when I was in Ann Arbor, Michigan, law school, okay, I used to have like sunglasses, reflective and colorful, okay, good old days, but I came to Alaska, so I have to unload the burden so I just put them in the trash what can I do okay I cannot carry all this baggage luggage okay yeah I have to put them in the dumpster okay all my sunglasses Good old days. Okay, now let's do martial arts, okay? The frontal grip and back grip, okay? You open your middle finger, okay? You use it as a hinge point. Frontal grip and back grip, okay? So that's that. Frontal grip, open your middle finger and make it as a hinge point, fulcrum, okay? That's how you switch between back grip and photo grip. Okay? Very important. Alright? Because in Chinese martial art, okay? Yeah, and we are not talking about today's China because that dictatorial totalitarianism. Not quite communism, okay? Because they're very much capital capitalist. This is pretending, right? We are not talking about today's China. We are talking about ancient China. Back in the days. Good old days. Okay. Old school. Alright. Even in Japan, it's not all about frontal grip. Okay. There's, they have this ninja. Yeah. Ninjutsu is illegal in America. Right. Yeah. But you still have ninja movies in Hollywood like teenage ninja turtle right yeah so what's ninja too they hide their weapon in the back it's still here occlusion occlude yeah okay it's still here yeah Frontal grip, oh, I'm baseball, samurai, like, oh, no. You hide your weapon, okay? I still have it, but you don't get to see it, right? Occlusion, right? And to put your opponent in a more complacent mode, he's relaxed, okay? Oh, I have weapon, but he doesn't. Yeah. I'm relaxed. I got my weapon. He doesn't. But actually, I do have my weapon. I'm just hiding it. Okay? This is a leverage concept, alright? You hide your strength, your power, okay? Just like this, okay? I still have it, but you don't get to see it. Occlusion. Optical illusion. Occlusion. Occlude. Okay. I still have it, yes. but you don't get to see it. Hmm? 
We'll take five minutes break, okay? So, and I, we'll do some more match, all right? Okay, so. What can I say? All right. We'll take five minutes break, okay? Okay, let's continue. We have like what, 30 minutes left. Let's make the best use of it, okay? So, yeah. This is Kill Bill series, Kill Bill movie. Senore, Quentin Tarantino, okay? I don't know too much Italian, okay? It's in my list of things to learn, okay? So, I don't know too much Latin, all right? Like, res itza locator thing that speaks itself, whatever, okay? Gogito ergo sum, right? Yeah, I think, therefore I exist. Museoch, Rune Descartes, right? Yeah, I, I don't know too much about that, okay? So, let's see. In my list of things to learn, all right? Latin, Italian, whatever. So, Mr. Quentin Tarantino, okay? Kill Bill series. I, I don't like that movie because they killed women in that movie. That's not okay. That's, not, that's no goal. Okay, you cannot kill women even in a movie or novel. No. Man's job is to protect and preserve women and children. Even in a movie, you cannot kill women or children. No. Man's job is to protect and preserve 
women and children, okay? That's our job as men. That's why I don't like his movies, okay? But there's this Jap Yeah, I remember because I did watch his movie, okay? Yeah, this go go Japanese girl, high school student, okay? Yeah, very beautiful Japanese lady, okay? She did this, okay? Yeah, it's like traditional Chinese weapon, Japanized, whatever, okay? Yeah, it's this uh, string. And this Thailand movie, Ong Bak. The very first time I watched it, I was in the US Army. I think it was Fort Gordon, Georgia. All right? We were watching some movies talk all together. Army Brothers, right? Army of Brothers. Yeah, we got some leg time on the weekend, okay? So we watched this movie all together. Ong Bak, Thailand. Muay Thai, right? <laughs> Muay Thai is something very cool. Elbow, knee, second joint, right? Yeah, Muay Thai, right? Uh, elbow, like, knee. They're cool, okay. Yeah, this Ong Bak series, it's alright. But, I watched this movie with French subtitle, okay? Ue mo elephant. Ue mo elephant. Where's my elephant? Ue mo elephant. He's looking for his elephant, okay? And there's this lady. Uh, mature, but still very beautiful, grey shape, right? She was using this whip. Whip, yeah, it's ch traditional Chinese weapon, okay? So, well, yeah, Thailand, yeah, that's close to China, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> she was doing this. Like, oh, or Google in this Quentin Tarantino movie, Kill Bill, right? Or, yeah, Chinese movie, Deadly. He was encountering this. Japanese guy, samurai, right? Big sword. Like this, right? And this jelly, Fist of Fury, okay? He didn't have any weapon, okay? And this Japanese guy with big samurai sword like this. Oh! So he took out his belt. Okay? Yeah, something very cool, okay? I'm not very good at it, but <sighs> let me get some drink first. I show you, I show, share with you the little that I know. It's my heart, okay? So, ah. Uh. And there's this Hollywood movie featuring Korean guy. His stage name Rain, right? Yeah, he did that. This traditional Chinese weapon, kind of whip. At the end, he has this knife tied to it. Uh, but Chinese traditional weapon, I forgot the name of that. Okay, it has this bow. Okay. Yeah, this ninja movie Hollywood, okay, they hired this Korean guy whose stage name is Rain. I love this song with the Beatles song. We have 15 minutes left, let's take 5 minutes, okay, then I will share with you what I know about this, yeah, 
this weapon, okay? Okay. It's my heart. Self-discipline. Not much self-defense because if you're a martial artist, people will know. Okay? They're not gonna mess with you. If you train yourself, self-discipline, you don't need any self-defense or defense of others because when they see you, if you're very good at martial art, they behave. They're not gonna mess with you or anybody else when you are around. When you are there, people will behave. Okay? The best martial artist, he or she never fights. Why? Uh, because people will behave around you. They can sense that you can kick some kaisto. Okay? Yeah, they start behaving around you when you are around. Right. This martial philosophy, human logically speaking, okay. Give me five minutes, please. Let me refill my water. And drink some vodka, okay? Oh, I love vodka. I love Russia, Soviet Union. They have chaga vodka, right? Whatever. We say family spray, okay? So. Yeah, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Bruce, Mr. Bruce Lee because he's a kind of an ultra internationalist, right? I'm not a huge fan of that man, but I have to give him some credit for popularizing this Chinese weapon, nunchucks. Okay? Yeah, we, we have to give him some credit for popularizing this Chinese weapon, nunchucks, okay? It came from farming, okay? It's farmer's tool back in the days in China, okay? <sighs> but Mr. Jackie Chan or Mr. Jet Li, they never used nunchucks. 
Why? I don't know. Maybe they are not good at it. I don't know. Yeah, Mr. Jelly, Mr. Jackie Chan, they never used nunchucks. I've never seen them using nunchucks. But Mr. Bruce Lee, he used nunchucks, right? Oh, there's this samurai guy. Samurai sword. And he used nunchucks, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we have to give him some credit, or accreditation for popularizing this traditional Chinese weapon. It's not Japanese. Nunchaku. No, it's nunchuk. Nunchucks. It's Chinese weapon, okay? So... Nunchaku, it has Japanese transliteration, alright? Uh, but it is Chinese weapon, okay? It's not Japanese, no. Came from China, farmers. Okay, so history of nunchucks goes way back. All right, more than I can tell you. Okay, <sighs> let's take a break. Yeah, this whip style, whip or belt, I generally did that, right? Because this, this guy, samurai, Japanese guy with this samurai sword, which is very powerful, okay? Yeah. Uh, but ninja, they're even more powerful because they hide their weapon, okay? Behind them, all right? So, so repetitious, okay? Insurmountable hiding. Okay, that's ninjutsu. Okay, or ninji ninja do tao the way of ninja, right? Like judo jujitsu, right? Chi means of. Okay, so ninjutsu nin means uh, jujitsu. Okay, ju means flexibility. Chi means of. Okay, and chu means skill. I know some Japanese, okay? So, ninja chu is the skill of flexibility. I mean, jujitsu, right? Judo is a tao, the way of flexibility, okay? It came later on, right? Because they want it to be like more like Taoist, Chinese philosophy, okay? Judo, okay? very powerful. Very powerful, purely Japanese, well, kind of hybrid between Chinese, Japanese, Judo, the Tao, the way of flexibility. But Jiu Jitsu, that's purely Japanese. The skill of flexibility, because back in the days, the history of Jiu Jitsu, back in the days, they have this Japanese armor, right? You can quite pierce this armor with. Summer sword, okay, they're armored, right? But this guy still have this joint, fingers, elbow, shoulder, okay. So uh, that's jujitsu, all right. You wrap around like, and you snap and come uh, kind of disjoint them, okay. So I know some jujitsu, some judo, okay, because my friends kindly, kindly and generously told me. Okay. We have five minutes left. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is also Chinese weapon. Okay, martial art, traditional Chinese weapon. It came to Japan. Yeah, go go. Quentin Tarantino, Japanese girl, whatever. What? Thailand, it came to Thailand too. Yeah, this Ong Bak series, Ong Bak movie. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's. And also Jet Li, Chinese guy, right? Facing this samurai Japanese guy with this samurai sword, which is very powerful, okay? Like, oh, show of force, right? 
And Mr. Jelly in this remake of uh, Fist of Fury, right? Original Mr. Bruce Lee, okay? I'm not a huge fan of that man because he's ultra interracialist, okay? But Mr. Jelly, yeah, Mr. Bruce Lee, very theatrical, great performer, great actor, humorist. He got good, great sense of humor and philosophy. I get it, but I'm not a huge fan of that man. Okay, so Mr. Jelly, okay, yeah, facing this Japanese samurai guy, he has no weapon, so he take out his belt. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you got samurai sword. I got my belt. I took it out. Hopefully, my pants don't go down. So what? Yeah. Very tricky weapon to use. Okay, so yeah. Okay, that's all I know. <sighs> all right, we have one minute left. All I'm saying is, you gotta practice much hard. To strengthen your body and mind, right? Yeah, practice martial arts. Go to Google, YouTube, Wikipedia, whatever web page there is. Okay, you have to learn martial art. Okay. Yeah, crime prevention, self defense, self discipline, cardio, exercise, whatever. We have 30 seconds left. Yeah. Human knowledge called nunchuck style, we use fingers, okay? <sighs> Very beautiful, right? <sighs> Okay, thank you, good night, bye.